Welcome to episode 2 of Yadiot, here at Mill Hill Shul for the annual Sviva Gala Dinner. We were fortunate enough to have our Rav Shaliach, Rav Ilan Goldman here. We sent our star reporter to interview him. Uh, hello, I'm here at the Sviva Gala Dinner and with me is uh, Rav Ilan Goldman, our uh, Rav Shaliach, who is uh, just uh, coming up to the end of his term as Shaliach in the UK. So I'm here to ask him a few questions for Yadiot. So firstly, Rav Ilan, did your time as Shaliach run as smoothly as expected? Um, no. <laughs> uh, Any um, unexpected events you'd care to share with us? I wouldn't care to share them with you, but you can assume uh, that they were ups and they were downs, they were tremendous moments, and they were difficult moments. But all in all, the bigger picture, it was a tremendous time to be in the UK with Nehemiah. At the start of your three years with us, what did you hope to get out of your term as Rob Shalia to the UK? So first of all, I thought I was coming for two years, and it wasn't three, it was four. Um, and what did I hope? I, I wanted to help a movement that's doing so well do even better. And especially in the key areas of the ideology itself. To be able to transform the ideology of Nekiva, Torah, Avodah, Aliyah, from just an idea to something that everyone in Merkiva cares about and is passionate about. Uh, one, I think one of the, or the peak of what we did that, that allowed that was the Aliyah pilot trip last year when a group of Bogrim, uh, we took them to Israel for a week to go and see and learn all about Aliyah and motivate them about Aliyah and also show them the practicalities of Aliyah. How has the Merkiva in the UK changed you? <laughs> Um, I, I think I, I, I have learned to work with so many different people of different uh, ideologies, of different uh, passions and to be able to, um, to see the other side more clearly than before. I'm not, not going to say I never saw the other side but more clearly than, I saw, and than before to appreciate the other side and learn to work together uh, even when you don't agree with certain things. And finally, what plans do you have for you and your family in the future? That is actually something I'm very excited about. Uh, there's a concept in Israel, uh, something that I wish Merkiva UK would learn to appreciate more, and I hope I will be able to introduce that a bit on Machane. It's the concept of an Aliyah, uh, of a Garin uh, Torani. Garin Torani, sorry, has nothing to do with Aliyah. A Garin Torani is a group of families usually people that were in Bnei Akiva in their earlier ages that go to Israel, uh, go in Israel to live in development towns uh, as, as a group of families in order to help up the level of the religious level of the, of the place and the socio-economical level. So if you had a family of low-class working people, uh, if you have such a, a, sorry, a neighborhood or a town, now you'll have uh, within that town a group of people that are, have higher demands of the school, of the community, of the activities that they do and generally speaking it helps up the level of everyone that they actually touch. What we're going to do, Bezrat Hashem, as of when we get off the plane, is go very close to the airport, to a place called Lod, uh, which is literally where the airport is, where there's a garin of 500 families, most of all B'nai Akiva families, who are there to help that town uh, develop and become uh, on a higher level in all areas that are important. Ravelan, thank you very much. Thank you. BA News Update from Yediot. Israel Machane arrives in Israel. On Monday, all the groups arrived and were greeted by their Israeli Madrachim. So far, they've enjoyed their first full day of activities, including hikes and shopping. More news to come from us. Check out Israel Machane 2013 on Facebook and Benenki the UK on Twitter for more. Here are some of the highlights of the Gala Dinner. It's not fun sometimes, it's not easy. And you understood that you need to have passion to keep yourself going forward, to keep your excitement, to keep your, your own zeal alive in order to carry on being um, educated. And obviously, how, why didn't they have a place to live? Because they have to travel without to educate me, to educate the people. <laughs> Thank you.
Thanks for joining us for episode 2. Make sure you're friends with B'nai Akiva on Facebook, following us on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube to not miss more BATV Yadiot News.